Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Monday, September 30th. Well, here we go. Nonsense out of Washington continues. We're down overnight, but let's talk about where we were on Friday. First off on Friday, we had an additional sell-off down to the lows of the week in the S&P. 1686 down six was a close. The low was 1680 on the session. 1695 was the high. Ended up being down 0.4% on the day and losing 1% on the week in the S&P. Dow futures were down 66 points yesterday, and on the Nasdaq was off three, holding up relatively steady and actually positive 0.2% on the week. 3223 was a close, down three in the Nasdaq on Friday. 3241 and a half was the high the Friday before, and that's the uh, relative peak they keep an eye on. The dollar index was down 26, 8038, still maintaining above 80, but within that tight range, pushing to the lows of this recent action over the last seven or eight sessions. Euro currency popped up 135.21. 135.67 was the high, whereas 135.77 is the high resistance. So it almost got there. We'll look to see if it can push through that resistance up above. Bonds were up 10, 133.14. So not a big flight to quality like I saw in 1995, 1996 uh, when we saw this government shutdown threat actually happen last time. So bonds were up a little bit, but no big buying there. Looking at crude, crude was down 16, 102.86. It had a dollar 50 range on Friday, and crude oil lost a dollar 80 last week as a possible economic slowdown puts pressure on it with this nonsense. Gold, gold was up 15 dollars, 13.39. Gold did uh, lose six dollars on the week last week. So after the week close last week and all of the rhetoric over the weekend in Washington D.C., where do things stand on this Monday morning starting new trading week? Well, we're lower. We open up lower. The session started last night at five. Five in the afternoon, and the market opened up sharply lower. We opened up down three quarters of a percent. Right now, we're sitting about the same level. We're at 1672, down 14 and a half in the E mini SP. We're down 124 points in the Dow futures, 15,071, and down 23 at, tw at uh, 3,200 in the NASDAQ futures. Dollar index is unchanged. Again, the dollar has been trading in about a 50 point range for the last eight sessions or so. The euro currency is down 21 at 135. We've got a little bit of an uptick in bonds. We're up five points. Again, no big flight to quality or, or safety here. 133.18. That's put the yield on the 30 year treasury at 3.65. The 10 year notes at 2.6. And crude, crude is down $1.50, taking out last week's lows at 102. We're at 101.50, down $1.50. Lastly, gold, no bounce there. Gold's down $3 at 1336 as things stand. So to wrap up the current action with two hours ago before the cash stock market open, right now we're lower. We're down 14 and a half at 1672 in the E-mini S&P and down 124 points at 15,071 in the Dow futures for about a three quarters of a percent loss in these stock indexes. I will see you early Tuesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities. Mm -hmm.